All right. Ginger, <laughs> king yeah. for an issue. What is one issue you see in the world that you would want to fix? Oh, God. Just one issue. One just, issue. just one issue. It can be small. It can be large. Um, and then we're going to do a round robin, and we're all going to come up with our solutions for it. Okay. Clean drinking water. Clean drinking water. Okay. So we'll start with you, because you brought it up. Okay. See this issue all the way through. Oh, How God. do you, what do you start implementing it, or what do you do to see clean drinking water from the beginning, from inception and, to and, closure? And we're talking about laws, and we're talking about cultural changes and stuff like that. This right? one Fuck. issue you can fix. I don't even know it, so all assuming, the different things. That... Yeah, assuming that this is your plan for how, how you well, would I didn't know I was going to have to come up with all of these answers well, when no, I gave you, you an issue. It, it's completely um, on you. How would you solve it in today's mindset, your own mindset right now? You have unlimited power to fix this one issue. Hmm. I think uh, first thing I would do would, and like whatever I say. Yeah, it's there's nothing stopping you. I think we need to stop dumping into waterways. First okay. off, um, I need think um, any water that's used. Any water that's going back into a main body of water, water runoff. A source of water. It it needs to be cleaned and filtered in some way. And these are all hypothetical. How do these, would these things happen? I don't know. And, and so when you say clean drinking water, are you saying ensuring that our drinking water stays clean or ensuring mm -hmm. that we provide clean drinking water? Both. Okay. So how are you providing clean drinking water for like California, which is on a shortage of water? The logistics of that, I have no idea how that would happen. Okay. I don't know enough about sourcing. Okay, or... so I've, I've actually got a lot on that. Okay. okay. Go. Um, Let's if go, you, if you're done. I mean, She wants clean drinking water and everything that goes back into a water source, she wants purified. I think, to yeah. To the proper pH balance back to what she... Yeah. She wants water to be clean in and out and all the bacteria, whatever bad out of it. Yeah. So oil, so, chemicals, all that shit. So one of the yeah. things we do is we need to make people aware of the effects that their actions have, and not just their actions, obviously, but corporate actions have on the water table. So individuals' actions, so this is cultural training in this respect, right? right. So using using your weed and feeds, everyone using weed and feeds, this negatively impacts everyone using uh What's the weed spray shit? Fucking Roundup. The amount Roundup. of people who Everyone I hear are like, Roundup. oh, just use Roundup. And I'm like, you're It's terrible by the water table. Dish soap and laundry detergent. Both good for the environment. And in comparison to Roundup and weed we'll killer. Will kill most. And they will kill those. I and, actually disagree with you. I mean, there's studies on it. Because I've used those and they don't work. On killing things? Yes. Or on cleaning things? On okay. killing things. Okay. Oh, it well, does not work. I've never had an issue with it, so this is the first I've heard of it. I've, so. I've, I've tried to use it out here to like clear the shit out of my gravel, and it did not kill that shit. Interesting. Mm. Okay. So maybe I didn't use it correctly. I was going to say, is there a specific I've, I've way you're supposed up, to like, like recipes and them. stuff like that online, and I used it, and it did not kill that. Interesting. Mm. Um, but clean but, water. But, Culturally, um, and that ties into, you know, this kind of ties into like, okay, we need to accept the fact that like neighborhoods, why don't we just accept the fact that grass is going to grow high, you know, stuff like that, you know, use native grasses that all ties, See, ties together. I think that's a big one as well. But so that, that's the cultural aspect is teaching people how to do stuff. And then how about we actually have our federal government instead of holding you and me responsible? For stuff, how about they actually hold these companies that are dumping shit into our drinking water responsible for what they're doing instead of paying for credits instead for their of, abuse? Yeah, yes, yes. Or you, where is it that I think it's in? Is it? I think Bravo. a lot of places. Ah, you're in drought. Major corporations, people, you can only use this much water. Mm -hmm. Major corporations go over their they're water. Here. Yeah, in San Antonio, and they're, there was uh, they're was not the... penalized for it. Like what their is... gallon, instead of like if I overuse water, my water price increases. Doubles. Yep, theirs doesn't. Yeah. There was an NBA the star. Fuck? He were he did the Spurs when we had the drought for what two years. He owed three million dollars in fines for overwater for overwatering. 
but he wanted his grass to look fine. He was like, meh, that's fine. I don't care. Here you go. I want my grass to look good. I'm sorry. I cut your water off. Agree. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I will only fine you so much. And then if you keep going and we're holding you to the standard of <clears throat> you're paying into this, this is a public service, blah, 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 blah. And don't get me wrong. I am a libertarian. However, that's with stipulation, right? Like I'm a partial, right? But I am going to hold you accountable. And I fully believe in holding corporations to a higher accountability yep. than I'm holding an individual. Yeah. No, but I agree. Now, when we go into providing water, so for places that are short on water, that are shipping in water from other states like California, we need desalinization plants. Okay. Right? Because if they can do it fucking over in the Middle East, we can do it in America. Right? But they're like, oh, it's going to negatively impact the environment and blah, 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 blah. Well, fuck off. You're you're allowing the 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 environment to be negatively impacted in so if you're many other ways. Shipping in water that also has huge negative. I'm also impacts. a fan. We should get rid of water bottles and have cans. Yes, yes. Cans let's are cut, reasonable. Let's cut down on plastic. Like I look at water in a very different way than both of you. I think all our gray water should be used for everything outside. Oh, 100 mm-hmm. percent. Now our black water, all our black water across the board should be treated, cleaned, and put yeah. back to usable. Because that would be an easy cost across the board in comparison to let's filter all water. All the water that you use in my shower, all the water I use in my dishes goes through and it stores in a water tank. But this also goes into we need to train our public more <laughs> to on. To use things that could go back into your lawn and Correct. not. Yeah, yeah. Try not to be dumping, you know, all your chemicals down the drain. Proper disposal of, mm-hmm. of chemicals to include. I don't know about you, but I've got fucking paint thinner stored somewhere in my garage right now and i need to look up where to dispose of that yeah i got oil i got putting containers yeah and i don't know where to dispose of that chemical most paint shops will take it there's a lot of things that i think people just don't know right paint batteries 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 do the amount of times that people just chunk batteries in the trash i'm like don't don't throw those in the trash you shouldn't do that don't throw your will take batteries actually What's that? Best Buy will take batteries. Yes, they oh, will. Really? Okay. Yep. I've. I literally have brought a container it up and I was of like, batteries. I never even thought about. It. I've I've got a mason jar that I keep in my pantry, and anytime I have batteries that go dead, like double A's or anything like that, they go in the mason jar, and eventually I'll get enough, and then I'll take them over to yeah. Best yeah. Buy. The Bernie dump has battery collection and liquid collection, liquid okay. like paint. oils, paint thinner, paint, spray and paint, and you put it all in literally a fifty-five gallon drum. It's really really simple business practice. Dump it in here, and then we'll seal it, and we'll send it off. Right. And you just For pay proper, whatever right. charge. But we're running out of time. What do you got for... Mine is very simple. Let's actually reuse the water that we need to reuse. If we have clean water already coming in across a majority, let's make this more public across the board. Lower, yeah. lower to a standard or increase to a standard that we can, as a whole, cover this cost. As a whole. Yeah. Now, don't give corporations credits. So they can throw shit into the ocean, throw shit into water sources. No. They pay the same shit everyone else does. Yep. So we'll use our gray water and our black water will be cleaned. Or we have a collection point. Guess what happens when you hold all the corporations to a standard? They figure out how to work with it. And that's pretty much it. That's all I got. 